Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 7th episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series and in this video we will be discussing about how we can exploit the auto runs so without getting any delay, let's dive into the video guys first of all really really thank you for all your support if you want to connect to me personally you can check out my twitter and the linkedin the links are in the description below and if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or ask your queries or whatever it is you can check out my discord server the link is in the description below so guys uh, and also this is the notes uh, of this particular series so this is still under uh, uh, editing only so you can bookmark this thing and also if you haven't followed the previous parts in this privilege escalation series i'll link uh, link the play list as well in the description below so you can go and check that out and this is our room so which is free try hack me room so make sure you are connected and uh, you can see we are connected here so first of all let's discuss about an auto run so auto run is as simple as a startup application guys so if you take if you install an application on your system so it can be something like a discord application on your windows system so what happens is like it will it will be added into some place called a startup application so i'll just show you so if you open your taskbar and if you go to a section called a startup you can see there are some few applications here like spotify skype these are kind of disabled here but auto runs in the sense like if they are enabled so what happens is like whenever your system is restarted or whenever your system is started these applications run okay not in the background they run okay so like without even starting them they just run that's it so that is what an auto run is so uh, we'll try to exploit this thing so through the help of a registry so registry uh, if you want to know more about registry so this is the uh, resource i'll be providing in the description below so to be clear it is like a settings guys settings for an applications uh, software hardware whatever it is like it's a kind of database of settings that's it as simple as that but if you want to know more about what they are and what they refer to you can check out this beautiful art good article uh, which is in the description below you can find them out from there so i started my machine here uh, so and you can see this is my uh, some configuration so i even created some shell.exe and a reverse.exe uh, which is configured one is configured at port 44444 and 5555 and 45 something like that and uh, you can see i got a, a, a a desktop session a remote desktop session you can see i even downloaded some our files shell.exe and reverse.exe so if you want to know like uh, like search util i downloaded through the help of search util if you have like some people like to download to the powershell you can go ahead whatever it is your choice guys so let me quit this thing so we'll run we'll open a netcat session we'll even get a command line session right now so nvlp and port 4444 and uh, let's go back and let's run this shell.exe so you can see we got a session here as well so guys uh, if you come back if you come back to this particular uh, task you can see there is some kind of a query so this query so like this is a location in your uh, registry so if you run if you query this thing so what you'll get is like you'll get all the applications which are configured for an auto run okay so let's copy this thing so you can make note of these things guys or it is always available on internet you can just copy it so i just uh, close the session sorry so i'll just start it once again uh, so now we got it once again so let me paste this thing so now we can see guys we got some few applications so first one is a security health and you can even find the directory something like that and you even have a program called as my program and you can even find the location okay so like uh, this particular program is some kind of assume it's some kind of an application which runs whenever your system is started okay so with the default user permissions like if you assume something like if i'm currently on this machine as a user you can see my username is user so whenever this particular user is logged in so this particular application will run with this particular user rights so when an admin logs in this particular application will run with an admin right so i hope you understood what we'll be going to do in the further part and also one more thing uh, is access check so we want to check so what you can do is like guys you can simply copy these paths okay and you can simply put it in the access check thing so uh, you can see by default they have given something like uh, a location which is for my program so you can test it out guys you can simply paste something like this okay so access check we already discussed and accept this is an option 
to agree this uh, to look for this agreement and this is for like uh, looking for read and write permissions okay so these are some options and you can always refer to the documents of uh, for this access check uh, stuff and you can go ahead and uh, by default i'm running this for my program guys but you can run this for security health so this is the location so system 32 location but what happens is like system 32 is not accessible by everyone until or unless you're an administrator so that's the reason it won't work but this particular application uh, which we can run let me hit enter so you can see we have file access for everyone we have read and write file access we have everything guys you can simply do anything so if you observe the previous uh, episode if you uh, followed the previous episode we exploited something called as insecure service executables so what happens is like we are able we have something like full file access to everything right so what it is like we simply configured or changed the stuff and we got it right so we'll do the same thing so we'll just copy the path once again okay so we'll copy our reverse.exe to that location and uh, we'll find it so copy uh, reverse.exe so i already uh, transferred them and let me paste the location to where i want to copy since we have all file access okay if you don't have a file access you cannot copy there so if you, it is asking you whether you want to overwrite yes i want to overwrite so you can see if I uh, do something like a quick ls to this. So let me do something like that. Uh, let me copy this. So dir, uh, you can navigate to that location cd. Uh, you can navigate to that location. If I do a quick dir, you can see there is a thing called as program.exe. So what we need to do is guys, we need to wait. So this is something a, compl a complicated path. What happens is like we need to wait till an admin locks in because like only then we'll be getting the session but before what we'll do is like we'll open a reverse uh, connection so like a listener so nc-nvlp and 44555 so that is where my reverse.exe is configured okay so i'm keeping it simple so what we need to do is like we need to wait till the admin logs in but we already know but uh, since this is a test environment uh, like this might not be possible guys because there won't be no other person who logs in so only we need to log in so i'll show you how you can log in as well we even got a credentials here admin and password one two three so keep these sessions as like not real time guys like uh, to, in order to understand how you will how you can exploit and stuff so keep this uh, uh this thing for like that okay like real time it might not be possible we cannot log in as an admin we need to wait okay till some admin logs in okay so what we'll do is like uh, we'll open a new tab once again and we'll get a re uh, remote desktop so r desktop and hyphen u is admin and hyphen p uh, hyphen uh, sorry hyphen p password is password one two three and the ip is what they provided here so and also guys before that start your uh, listener here okay so if you don't start listener it won't work so hit enter so what happens is like we need to wait since this application is starting up you can see like you need to wait for some time uh, because what happens is like this application will be running so like uh, like startup application generally takes some time like one or two minutes and after that you can see you'll be having a session you can see like it might not be as quicker as possible but you can see if i do a quick who am i you can say i'm an admin here but previously once when we exploited the service exploit uh, executables what would it is like we got nt authority system but here admin so this is the catch guys some people will this might be some what controversial or some people might be uh, arguing with me but yes so like that is how it happens so what happens is like in real networks okay so admin locks in frequently so when you find some like auto runs kind of vulnerability for privilege escalation so there is a good chance to go but since this is a test environment so that is what we, we are doing so we're just logging in and we'll see whether we are able to exploit it or not so that is it guys for this uh, registry auto runs so with the help of registry we was able to we were able to find out the information about this auto runs and we are able to exploit an uh, auto run application and this is simple so as same as uh, something like insecure service ex executables uh, here we have like a read and write a file access to everyone so that is how we try to exploit it and guys if you have any doubts or any queries you can reach me out on my twitter 
or link uh, twitter or my discord so the, all the links are in the description below so and also guys if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and who are preparing for some practical exams like oscp pnpt whatever it is so where this escalation part plays a major role and this is satvik signing off uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you